I am Wayne Linkerfelt of Churchill, Tennessee. I lived in, I was born in Kingsport, moved to Unicoi County when I was two year old. And uh, there I went to elementary school and went to Irwin High School for three years and to Chucky Doak High School for one year and graduated there and done some limited time at Tuscan College. The biggest thing that we had in Unicorn County, I guess, was just being in the environment, uh, uh, going to camp out almost every week. We ran in the mountains, uh, hunted, fished, and just about anything to have to do with the outdoors, including farming with our families and everything. Seeing, seeing wildlife on a daily basis. Where I lived, I mean, it, it was there. We, we had everything, or we thought we did until later years and, and things were starting to be stocked, you know, and, and uh, just like deer and turkey, uh, there was very few turkey to none in Unicoi County. Uh, deer, there was some deer there and not a whole lot of that. But, but, it, but it was a daily thing for the, the smaller games, which we were very plentiful. It was very, a very memorable time. The, I was hired uh, by the state and uh, I met the supervisor at the office and he put me with two officers. Uh, they had given me some uniforms. Uh, a gentleman in Unicoi had died, and so I got his uniform. And uh, they gave me a pistol, uh, no holster, no shells. I did get five shells for a six shot gun though. And, uh, but uh, we worked that day on the post in the Holston River, North Holston River in Kingsport. And uh, I spent the whole day that day uh, picking the two gentlemen up that was in the boat. And they gave me a log book and told me to sit down under a shade tree and wait until I got to the next stop and read that law book that day. So that was my first day at work. Average dirt work day, we were, it was a completely different world. I mean, we were almost 95% law enforcement when I went to work. And, uh, and everything, we, we were on call seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Our name and, and address was uh, put in every hunting guide printed in the state. So I mean, I mean, you were you were in the public. You was it. So and it was just uh, from day to day, what whatever we were called on doing. And and in the area I was up here, and when I started in was uh, thirteen counties in East Tennessee. So we worked that all of that the officers, and I think we had to. Uh, 10 or 11 men for these 13 counties. This was quite an experience in itself. It, uh, the Holston River at that time was just loaded with big uh, snapper or mud turtles and uh, the soft shell turtles, well, and all the other sliders and all those kind too. And, uh, but the groups would come in every year and they would float the Holston River from Kingsport to Rogersville, and they, they had the boats, they would wade the water, and, and they would uh, come to the banks where the, water, the banks overhung, and they would go up under the banks and get those turtles out of there. If the turtle, if they were outside, you know, they would catch them, if they get under the bank, get back in what they call just a hollow back in the bank, they'd go in there and get them out with their hands. No gloves, just, just by her head. But it, it was amazing just to watch it. And these people, I checked for their fishing license, which is what was required when, when they came into the bank or a, a boat ramp. Then I was there to check them if I knew they was on the river. It's been a tremendous thing on the, on the people, well, on the area too. It's, everything is building up. It, it's, it's changing the environment. It's changing the way people do things. 
uh, hunting and fishing. Uh, fishing is is way down. Hunting is down by at least thirty percent. It's it is really hard to find people out at times. We still have several deer hunters and several turkey hunters, and this is the biggest thing in this area. Middle and West Tennessee's got tremendous amounts of ducks. We don't have those in East Tennessee. We have a few. There's a big change, big change in wildlife. In uh, East Tennessee, the bear population has really grown in the past 20 years. And it, and it is even more so probably the last 10. The deer is just unbelievable. We've got so many now and turkey the same way. We didn't even hardly have any turkey in East Tennessee. There's, there's just so many things right now. Raccoons were, I mean, they were high priced and now they're almost a nuisance in town in places because there's so many of them and nothing to do with them. These, these bobcat are seeming like they are coming back here. They are uh, see more now than, than I've seen more in the past six or seven years than I've seen in my lifetime in a while. So that, I mean, they, they are coming back. The, uh, the biggest thing that noticeable that's not coming back, the grouse, the, the grouse that, that everybody used, used to like to hunt grouse and you just don't, uh, they're just almost gone here. You can't even hardly find them anymore. The public and the, the environment, I, I think the biggest part of them, but you know, they they are trying to do their best. This is this is like the ones with the wildlife. You got some that want it, you got some that don't want it. And this it's been this way ever since I I was working and, and it's gonna always be. You know, and it's uh this is the same way with the other environmental things. They, they have changed. I think a lot of them have changed for the better, and, and they really have. And, but but some, it, some just don't care. They would go out and, and, and dump their oil or anything down a drain, or, and, and I'm not talking about companies here, just people. And, but I guess all we can do is just, just do the best that we can and hope for the others. The or the, the environment. I, I think you should just get out in your environment, spend the, every day you can outdoors, and, and just, just make the best of it. it it's, uh, you've got to get out and get in the woods and get in the streams and, and, and just enjoy it. You can't sit back and look at it and look at the pictures. They're wonderful. It's a wonderful thing to look at, but but it is, you just need to be there. You need to get out there where you can touch the stuff, the flowers, the trees, and and you'd be amazed at how many thousands of things you've never even laid eye on. I've, I've, I've had a, some people I've introduced to the cucumber trees in East Tennessee in the past two or three years. Didn't even know we had any such thing. My place where my cabin is, I've, I've got cucumber trees everywhere there. And all you gotta do is pick up an Audubon book and look at it, and it'll show you where they're raised, where, where they're from, what they are, and everything about them. You may need to get back in the environment. That sounds like I do. <laughs> <laughs>